For the researchers who teamed up on this project, they thought they were going to track possums and raccoons invading neighborhoods. They outfitted the critters with GPS collars so they could follow their every move. We trapped them in their natural area, their little home range. We put the collar on and then we released them exactly where we found them and just let them go about their business. But along the way, their subjects began to disappear. So finally, one day at the beginning of November, um, the technician went out to look for the collar and the snake was on the surface. And we were finally like, all right, we have our confirmation. And their hunch was correct. Huge pythons were swallowing the pests and their tracking collars whole. That's when their research project took a turn. So this could be a really great opportunity. Burmese pythons arrived in Florida through the pet trade decades ago. While more than 12,000 of the snakes have been removed over the years, their population is exploding and they're eating up everything in sight, including endangered species. Take a look at this x-ray of a python's belly. The possum is gone, but you can see the GPS collar it used to wear right there. Oh my God! Oh my. Tracking pythons has its advantages. Just ask these python hunters who came across an 18-footer last August. For population control and for keeping tabs on how far and how fast they're moving north towards central Florida. And this could be a really good method of finding them because right now there's no good method for finding snakes anywhere. Crandall says it's crucial to remove the invasive pythons to protect all other species. So I think we're really getting a glimpse of how frequently um, animals may be being eaten in the environment. And it's alarming to say the least. Researchers need more funding to buy more tracking collars. Their population is only expanding every year. We're only getting more reports of detections. Connor Hansen, Fox 35 News. Those researchers plan to be back here in Florida testing out those collars again this summer.